Join me in the kitchen today when we use the silicone muffin mold to make these beautiful, delicious pecan sticky buns. I'll see you in a little bit. I'm going to do a little simple recipe for you guys using our silicone uh, muffin mold. Here, you know, it's great to use. It's lightweight. You can use it in the microwave. You can use it in the oven. Um, and the recipe that I have chosen, I wanted to do something simple this week, is pecan uh, sticky buns. So it basically uses refrigerated uh, cinnamon rolls, some pecans, some brown sugar, and some butter. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and start out this recipe. Um, it, at, it said to put it in a microwavable bowl. So I got my crystal wave bowl here. And if you remember, the crystal waves are awesome because they have this lid with this pop top on it. You just pop the top and you can seal it in the microwave and it vents and you don't get all that splatter over your uh, microwave. And it also kind of, um, I've noticed when I like reheat uh, taco meat and stuff like that, it also keeps it more, um, doesn't dry it out is what it does. It doesn't, you know, you get dry rice or uh, taco meat or something like that and it dries it out. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, it calls, I did preheat the oven to 375. That's what it called for. Um, and then it said, um, place the silicone muffin pan on a cookie sheet, which is what I did, because that's what you want to do when you cook it in the oven and set it aside. Okay, then in my bowl, I need to stir together butter, sugar, and pecans, and microwave on high for 40 seconds. So it says one, woo, and I lost my, there we go. It says one tablespoon of uh, butter. Let me grab my knife here, which I didn't grab out before, and get the tablespoon cut off. There we go. Okay, then I need one fourth cup of packed brown sugar. And my brown sugar is here in my modular mate, which keeps it a lot more fresh. Take off the lid there. And add that in there, perfect. And then pecans. So I do have these pecans here. I have walnuts also inside in a separate bag just because I just kind of keep them together. One third cup of um, chopped pecans. So these are already chopped. I'm gonna go ahead and add those into the bowl. And then it says to microwave on high for 40 seconds. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I thought this would be a good recipe for breakfast on a you know lazy weekend Sunday. Today is really chilly and cold today. So I thought these would be really great. Set these aside. Um, after that, it says remove from microwave, stir to coat the pecans, distribute pecan mixture among all of the muffin form. So we're gonna put the pecan mixture in here first before we put in the cinnamon rolls. And that has 12 more seconds. I know I'm going to need my shears for the cinnamon rolls because you do have to cut them. Almost done, then I should get a spoon, shouldn't I? So the butter is melted. Some of the brown sugar isn't melted just yet, but that will definitely melt in the um, oven. I'll bring this up closer so that you can see it. It smells wonderful already. Kind of like candied pecans. So let me bring this up a little closer for you guys to see. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna divide this in between the muffin uh, cups here. Not sure how much to put in each, but so far I'm just doing a scoop and then we'll even it out from there. And this is a super simple recipe. I kind of wanted something easier today. I'm a bit lazy today. extras and the ones I didn't get too much in. Okay, and I'll bring this up so you can see that too. Now I have them all placed. Let's scrape that in there. That ooey gooey stuff is good. Okay, here is 
what it looks like in the tin right there. So we're gonna go ahead and go on to the next step, which is to remove the cinnamon rolls from the package. And we're supposed to cut the dough in quarters. Then we place three pieces into each muffin tin. Not tin, because it's not a tin, sorry. Each muffin mold, we're gonna place three pieces. So, let me get this open. And I don't know if you're supposed to buy like the larger ones or the smaller ones, but I got the smaller ones, so. If I need to, I can add four, I guess. And this is why I got the, the shears, because it's easy just to cut it up. So I'm gonna add three in there. And they will expand, so I think we'll be good with three. Don't wanna chance it. Over, so I'm going to probably um, throw in another batch after the video. I'll use it all up. Okay, I'm gonna stick this in my fridge so it doesn't uh, melt too much. Okay, so now we have these all ready and set, and I believe then it says to bake for 20 minutes or just until golden brown. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven really quick. So the timer for 20 minutes. And then I'm gonna cut really quick and come back with you guys when it's finished and I'll uh, plate it and everything for you. So I'll see you in a little bit. Hey everyone, I am back and there's about three and a half minutes left on the oven, but I looked at them and they're getting a little bit brown. So I wanna go ahead and take them out so I don't overcook them. So they've been in about 17 minutes for my original 20, and they are smelling delicious. Let me bring them up closer so you can see them. Right there. I think if I would've used like, I believe the grand cinnamon rolls, that it would've needed a little bit more cooking time, but since I used the smaller cinnamon rolls, um, it cooked faster. So it said to let them cool or set for three minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna flip them over and see how they turned out. So I'll see you in a little bit again. It's been about three minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and flip these. I got a cutting board because I currently don't have a plate that's big enough to flip these over on. Um, and my cookie sheet is still a little bit warm. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these flipped over. It just says to flip them over and push them out. So I think they're coming out pretty easy. I might have left them in there a bit too long too, but they smell delicious. So I'll bring them up a little closer. You can see the caramelized uh, pecans on the bottom there. And then flip them over and it shows the uh, cinnamon roll part. So these are awesome. I'm sure if I tear them apart, oh, there's all that gooey uh, pecans, which is really good. And they taste super good, like candy pecans. So I can't wait to try these out. Once they cool a little bit, they're a bit hot. But this was the pecan sticky bun. And I think next time I would probably not cook it as long as I did, because um, it did get a little bit overcooked. But I was just going by the recipe and it was my first time doing the recipe. So that's what's nice about recipes is the next time that I do it, um, it should turn out a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook up the last little bit and then um, throw them in this pan, put them in the oven, not for as long this time, and then show you how those ones turned out. I'll throw in a picture so you can see those ones. But um, until next time, until next week, um, I'll figure out something else to make and we can cook again together. See you later. So here's an update. I went ahead and I used the rest of the cinnamon rolls that I had to make another batch and I added a little bit more of the pecan mixture um, and butter to it. So I think that might have worked. So I'm back here on the video. Um, let me show you an up close 
and I didn't cook them as long either. I think I put them in for about 12 minutes. Um, last time I think I kept them in for 17 minutes, so that was a big difference. But these are cooked through, and I did let them rest for three minutes like the recipe said. So I'm going to go ahead and flip these over, and hopefully they're not as crunchy as those ones, because I definitely overcooked those ones. And I was only able, and yes, they look so much better. So much better. Let me get that out of there. Yes, let me bring these up closer. You can tell, tell the difference. Like these ones look so much better than the last ones. Um, they're more, you know, ooey and gooey and not so overly burnt and crispy. So here is that one. So my, my uh, tip would be for this recipe is to um, add a little bit more butter um, to your mixture, just a little bit more, and fill them more in the cups. I put a little bit more in in the cups than I did um, the first time. So I would say even double what the recipe has for, this, for these six cups of, um, for the pecans, but yeah. These look so much better. I'm so much happier with these ones and I can't wait to try these ones. I did try this one and they were a bit crunchy. As you can see, they did turn out a little bit hard, but these look amazing and I'm excited to try them. So I will see you next week and thanks for sticking around for the update.